Okay, so in a continuation from the previous video, um, which explained how you can work out the value of lambda that you can then substitute into the coordinates of P to work out the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular, the next problem would be, well, find the shortest distance from a point to a line. And in doing that, you must go through this whole process as usual, okay, to get your value of lambda, because we still really need the coordinates of P. But at this stage, what we can do is we can substitute the value of lambda into the vector AP, and then I can work out the length of that vector, okay? So it's not really that many more steps on. So AP is equal to 4 times lambda minus 5, 2 lambda minus 1, and 6 lambda plus 9. Okay, so we've got 4 times 4, uh, minus 4 times 4 over 7, uh, take away 5 is minus 51 over 7. We've got uh, minus 2 times 4 times 7, take away 1 is minus, oh, uh, minus 2 times 4 divided by 7, take away 1 is minus 15 over 7. And we've got minus 6 times 4 divided by 7 plus 9 is 39 over 7. Okay, so the, this is the vector from A to P, and then our job is to really find the length of that vector. So we've got minus 51 over 7 squared plus minus 15 over 7 squared plus 39 over 7 squared square rooted. Okay, so this is a nice big, uh, lovely looking sum to plug into your calculator. Um, 15 over 7 squared plus 39 over 7. Um, done something wrong. There we are. Back on track. 39 over 7 squared is equal to 3 sevenths root 4, 8, 3, to be exact, uh, or as a decimal, is approximately equal to 9.4, okay, or 9.4 to 1 decimal place. But as an exact value, 3 sevenths root 4, 8, 3. So you can see it's not really that much more kind of work to do once you've found the coordinates of lambda, you just plug them into the vector AP and find the length of that vector in order to find the shortest distance from A to the line L1.